Hi guys, I'm Christy, a digital nomad from Hong Kong. I'm currently based in Thailand. So far, I've been living a nomadic lifestyle for four months already. Today, I'm gonna give my honest review of this dream lifestyle of many. This week, we are doing some island hopping from Koh Phangan to Koh Tao. In this video, I will show you the challenges and what to expect when living a nomadic lifestyle. Let's go! Being a nomad means that we have to cope with numerous changes a lot more frequently. But at the same time, we still need to keep up with our work schedule. There are moments I need to text my work partners, plan earlier, saying that I might be out of connection for a certain period if I know I will be transporting. To keep things professional, I would clear up my work beforehand if I know my upcoming traveling plans gonna get intensive. Okay. Now we have finally packed all our stuff and now we are going to have our breakfast! Let's go! Let's go! I have no idea how we can pack all this stuff on a single motorbike. See? I just got the ticket from the ticket center and I just asked her a dumb question and I asked her, I asked the lady why the price of the ferry ticket to Koh Tao is much more expensive like three times of the ticket to Samui from here and the reason is that Koh Tao is far away she said oh it's like one hour away from here while nomadic lifestyle can look chill from the outside in reality it can be physically challenging for many reasons when I first landed in Koh Tao, I feel overwhelmed because it's much more crowded than the island I used to live. What makes things even more challenging is the one hour ferry trip and the early wake up time. My body didn't respond well to this sudden change. I start feeling drowsy soon after I get on board. And yes, because of the one hour delay of our ferry, our lunch delayed as well. Having a constantly changing schedule can be physically tough, especially if you have a mild gastritis background. If I can choose, I'll keep some healthy snacks in my backpack so that I can adapt better when I'm transporting next time. Since we're not familiar with Koh Tao, we make a mistake when choosing the area to stay. Our hotel sits in a party area. There are party beats cutting through our window at 1am for some of the nights. As you can imagine, we didn't sleep that well during our stay. Sleep deprivation means our work efficiency is affected as well. What makes things worse is the leakage in the room. For some reason, there is water dripping from the AC. We woke up seeing our desk covered with water and some of our electronics has stayed in this pool of water. Luckily, Apple made their iPad well. Our devices still function well the next morning. But trust me, having to scare of losing your computer and your data is definitely not something you want to experience. Moving into a new accommodation means spending much more time communicating with your staffs about your preference, especially when you are not familiar with them and how they run the place. This is the most challenging part in my opinion. After two days of being sick and handling our work stuff, we can finally enjoy our holiday. We are actually on Koh Tao and we are having a boat trip around the island. Of course, the best part of being a nomad is to get a chance of traveling around the world. Having all those new experiences with new people, exotic culture, lovable wildlife, etc. etc. Last but not least, homesick. Homesick isn't my major concern, not until when it comes to food. Hong Kong, to be honest, has some of the best food in the world. My tiny home city is packed with Michelin. I sometimes crave Chinese Canton food so much during my travel. Some countries doesn't provide a lot of food choices, especially for people who have strict diet, they might find it difficult to adapt. However, based in Thailand gives us a great diversity of food, from Thai to Western, even Chinese style noodles. Yeah. And small for me, big for him. Honest, this bowl of noodles makes me homesick. I miss 
soup noodles from Hong Kong so much, especially the egg noodles. They do it, I mean, quite different from here. You see here, they are thicker in Hong Kong, they are thinner and chewy. Beyond the surface of this dream life, I realize most part of it still requires a lot of hard work and compromises. Till this point, I am still 100% into this lifestyle, but let's see how things go in the next few months. Subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about the real life of digital nomad. I will share more of the wonderful and challenging moments of my travel. See you next time.